Hello, everyone. It is a blessing to be in the land of the living. And today, we once again bring forth some words of encouragement. And our scripture today is found in the book of Colossians. And we're going to read from the first chapter and a couple of verses, starting with verse 12. It says, Giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of of the saints in light, who has delivered us from the power of darkness, delivered us from the power of darkness, and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom, of course, we have redemption through the blood of Jesus, even the forgiveness of sins. Glory to God. I, I want to share with you today to... Be encouraged because whatever comes against your life, and it can be the darkest of all darkness, <laughs> that you have been delivered from it. Yes, it's already written. It states it right here, giving thanks unto the Father. We have the inheritance who has delivered us from the power of darkness. Okay, as you all know, that during this season of COVID, there's a lot of darkness around. There's a lot of craziness. There's a lot of confusion. Uh, many people are like they're on edge now. Uh, they're stressed. Uh, people are losing their tempers quick. A lot of frustration. Uh, most of our children are not back in school yet. Uh, the schedules are still juggling. Uh, the death rate from COVID continues, what, 750 to 1,000 a day here in our nation. So, a lot of darkness. But, the scripture tells us that we've been delivered from this power of darkness. And so, I encourage you that in the midst of whatever might be going on, to think scripture. Okay? If God says, and he does that we've been delivered from the power of darkness, then we need to touch and agree with God. Now, what does that mean? Uh, first of all, understand that it doesn't mean that no darkness is ever going to come against you. He doesn't say that. And when you really break this down, in fact, he's saying the very opposite. Okay, darkness is going to come. Crazy stuff happens. Remember Jesus, he taught... That while we are here on this earth, we will have tribulation. Okay, but of course he says, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Here in Colossians, Paul by the Spirit is letting us know that darkness can come. And COVID is darkness. I mean, this thing has rocked our world, rocked our country, rocked our church. I mean, it's everywhere. But... I choose to believe and to think on scripture. God has delivered us from this. In other words, I'm not going to allow this thing to dominate my thinking. Every day I'm going to think I'm delivered from the power of darkness. Okay? The power of darkness does not have dominion over my life. Whatever darkness comes against me, I'm going to think. That one, I can do all things through Christ and strengthens me so I can handle it. I'm going to deal with the darkness. And I already know that God has spoken very clearly that I am delivered from this. In other words, church, we have the victory over darkness. In small bits of darkness, in large, big things of darkness. Okay, this, something comes up, man, this is really dark. This is bad. You've been delivered from it, meaning that through Christ Jesus, you have the victory. So I encourage you today to think like this. Whatever darkness comes, I can handle it, I can deal with it, and I am victorious. Be encouraged. Apply this principle to your life and have a great day.